Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Hey, David Adela, how are you? <laughs> I'm very good, thank you. Very well. Well, I want my thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're doing well. I want my audience to know that you're with USA Network's the new drama Falling Water, and this is from the creative minds behind The Walking Dead and The Homeland. So you come just really with a great resume. I'd love to know more about Falling Water. So, um, thank you for that kind of introduction. Uh, Falling Water is a wonderful. Um, TV series which I've been working on in New York. It's about three different people who live in New York. They don't know each other. And what happens is they realize that they're all dreaming separate parts of the same dream. And then in their dreams, they start seeing each other. And then bit by bit, they'll start to understand the language of their dreams and understand that their waking life and their dream life can bleed into each other. And of course, that's going to create for a lot of wonderful drama. This is so interesting. Uh, I never thought of dreams in that aspect, other people being tied to dreams. Um, I think this is what's going to make it, you know, the series of, 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 of the uh, year on USA Network. USA Network's been doing some really good stuff in the last few seasons. Yeah, they really have. I mean, it's really wonderful, and, you know, especially off the back of the success of Mr. Robot, season one and season two, you can clearly see that USA Network are going in a direction for, um, you know, bold, creative, artistic work, you know, and it, it's TV which is textured and which is layered and which is gritty, you know, and I, I just feel that Fallen Water, it just, um, it's under the right umbrella in terms of the direction the USA Network are going in. And it's so exciting to be part of that transition and evolution. David, is, do you feel that TV is, is the new, what do I want to say, the new small movie screen in a sense? I know you probably heard that. But, you know, I know you've worked with people such as Christian Bale and Vanessa Redgrave, and these are top caliber or top chefs. Uh, uh, top shelf uh, actors and actresses, and now you're on the small screen doing the same quality work. Yeah, I mean, it's a really wonderful thing because you can see that there's a pattern in it. More and more very credible film actors are transitioning into TV. And I just feel personally, like for myself, there's just, um, I'm really enjoying the era of TV at the moment. It's a really exciting time. And I think that a lot of the characters which you see on TV now um, can easily just transition onto a big movie screen, you know, because the stuff, the writing has a lot of substance to it. The characters have substance to it. And with Falling Water, it's literally, the plan was always from Blake Masters, the, the creator of the show, his plan was always every week to have a movie on a TV screen, you know? And it's just a wonderful thing. He's wonderfully ambitious and very talented, and it's just great to have him leading us, being the captain of the ship. Well, I was gonna even ask you that about this, this movie aspect, and, and you played right into that, a movie every, every time you guys film. Is it different than doing a big budget movie and a small TV movie? It, 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 is it different, or? You bring your A game, I know, to no matter what you do, it seems. I mean, yeah, I think, I think it's important. I think it, if it's a TV show you're doing or a movie, I mean, at the moment I'm doing a play. And I just think that, the, um, I suppose the mediums are different 
and the skill set which has to be applied has to be tailored towards the different mediums. But the talent is constant, constant like the North Star. And whatever I do, I always try and be as committed to it as possible because I'm inspired by so many people who I work with and who I've grown up watching on TV or on film. Um, I suppose with doing a big studio film, there's a lot more money involved. So, but I think there's a great, there's a great level of quality in TV at the moment. Well, there's a great level of quality. And if I could ask you, I've got a Facebook question. They want to know, where's your accent from? (laughs) My accent's from, well, it's London, but because on and off, I've been in America for the past two years. And at the moment I'm doing this play, I'm actually playing Jim Brown. My accent sometimes is all over the place. It really is, because especially when you're playing Americans often, like the, the twang in your, in your voice just changes. But um, I am, I'm born and raised in London, England. <laughs> well, I can understand that. I'm from New Orleans, and it depends on where I am. My accent sounds different. I can understand right. that. David, you are, you are just such a delight. I want to thank you so very much for being my guest and talking about Bowling Water. When do you want us to watch your series? That's so sweet. My pleasure. Falling Water airs on USA Network this Thursday, October the 13th, which is tomorrow. Well, because of you, we're going to be there. I want to thank you so very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Tune in and enjoy, guys. Be inspired. And the best of luck to you. Thank you, my dear.